Good morning, my name is Ana Iglesias and together with my colleague Blanca Garcia, I would like to welcome you to the conference as we also thank, uh, thank you uh, for your presence here today. My English is not very fluent, so the co-chair Blanca Garcia will next introduce the presentations. In this panel, its paper will be delivered in 10 minutes, which will be followed by some time for a discussion on them and questions from the audience to the researchers. Thank you very much, and now I leave you in the good hands of Blanca Garcia, who will next take the floor. Thank you, Anna, for your presentation. Welcome, everybody, to this track number seven of the team conference. Welcome, as well, to Salamanca, which may be your first contact with the city or your may, maybe your first visit to the University of Salamanca. We welcome you uh, to this institution as well. Um, as you know, this track seven will deal with mobile application or mobile apps and uh, their um, job or their function as uh, learning tools in many different uh, environment, educational environments uh, mainly. As to introduce this track and to present a little bit the topic of which we all uh, know about, about which we all work in one degree or another, uh, we can say that it is uh, undoubtable now the relevant role of mobile devices in our society. We all have a mobile phone in, your, in our bag, in our pocket, and we all have tablets and um, computers as working tools. We cannot, or we, or it's hard for us to imagine our life without those communication tools. Um, these communication possibilities that were born out of these new uh, technologies have expanded or have uh, been um, made general thanks to the popularization of the technologies. If these technologies were not so popular and so widespread, it would be impossible for us to be talking today about the uh, educational purpose or the educational uh, service of uh, mobile apps or mobile devices. Um, something that we have taken into account is that from the former communicative function of the elements, indeed, a mobile phone was designed to speak to somebody on the phone and not to learn, for example, or to perform different activities that, that we do. A mobile phone was not designed as a camera, and we use mobile phones today as cameras a lot of times. Okay, so um, something that we have to emphasize as well is that the maybe the initial design purpose has shifted so much that mobile phones nowadays are not a shadow of, the, of what they were some years ago. So this form of communicative function has changed into a wide variety of purposes. Nowadays, our student or students from the university mainly use mobile phones to play and to write messages, synchronic messages to friends. So is it a tool to make phone calls? Not any longer, I'm afraid, or not in the degree it was before. So that communicative function has changed into a playful and organizational, informative or even pedagogical as we will discuss today. These mobile devices, therefore tablets, smartphones or whatever they are, um, have been uh, constructed or are enhanced as tools to access information and as a consequence every information we access is information we have the possibility to learn from. Okay, so that is the uh, emphasis we're going to give this uh, track today. Access information or deal with information in different forms as ways to learn in different forms indeed. Something that has uh, been possible thanks to uh, mobile devices as well as the notion of Ubiquity, I don't know if you know, it is the possibility to learn everywhere at any time. That means I can be on my way home in the underground in London and it can be 10 in the morning or 1 a.m. that I can be learning no matter what time is it and where I am 
without the barriers of the time and space constraints of the classrooms within a high school or a university. So no time and no space barriers and that uh, ubiquity that enables people to boost or to practice their competences at their best uh, or, or in the time and place <coughs> that best suits them. M learning is in fact what, the, what we are going to be talking today here about because uh, is the learning or is learning across multiple contexts. We've said that no matter if the channel to learn is not paper based but technology based or mobile based, so the context is different depending on where the mobile device is set. The context can be our house, the context can be a bus from one city to another, or the context can be a room, a classroom, if we integrate those devices into the classroom. So the context depends actually on the use, or on the user actually. Um, this learning is more and more produced or carried out through social and content uh, interaction. That is to say, the content, the content is more and more shared between users. What I say is useful for you, is my content, is my information, and I share it with you. That is the social construct, construct, construction of knowledge, sorry. And also through social networks, and more and more we deal with information and we deal with uh, the things we learn through those social uh, networks that our students use so much. And using, of course, personal electronic devices or personal uh, gadgets. Most or a, a great majority, I would say, of the uh, learning processes are now um, oriented towards or oriented from, I would say, apps. Applications which provide us with the software or the uh, applications or the engine that we need to fulfill an objective. We, or most of us as university teachers, know what we know or what we want to achieve, but these apps provide us the medium to achieve the results or the learning we want our students to, to have. So these pieces of software are um, some of the key terms that we will be speaking about today. Some of the topics, as you know, that will be covered in this uh, track 7 will be these ubiquitous learning, learning and teaching methodology through mobile devices, mobile devices as learning tools, will have hardware and software inf interfaces in mobile devices, theory, methods and models, computer supported cooperative work, collaborative computer, well-based uh, interaction, collaborative learning as well as computing, computer and education as a broader term and finally as an umbrella term we would say that we will cover mobile devices as educational resources. <coughs> 